when you cut the seal open, the, the bearded seal, you can see everything. And uh, the, uh, the, the uh, elders used to say, that's, the seal is, represents everything in there, what we are, what humans are. And I think it's true. <laughs> seal intestines goes up to your throat. So you have cut it somewhere in here, and then take everything out and separate things, parts. My son or my grandson will say, Grandma, where are you going to put the intestines? So they'll bring it in, I'll put it in a large tub because they're big, they're, they're filled, they're not cleaned yet, still intact to the uh, tissue in there. So we have to cut away that, <coughs> cut away that, and it's quite, when it's finally done, and it's a tedious thing, because you have to avoid cutting through those intestines if you want a good, unteared uh, products. And then when that's finally done, then you, clean the inside, take out the insides out. And they are, uh, it's digested food. <laughs> There's uh, three layers to that uh, one intestines. There's a outer layer that coats the intestines the membrane, what you, what you might call, and it's uh, sometimes thick, it's, it's called ek, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a delicacy food. And then there's a mid layer is a, this is in the middle. But the outer layer is what we call ek. This is in the middle. This is the intestine, uh, what we're going to be working with. And then there's a third layer inside this. Inside. That's the one, that's the part where, where I have to uh, put it in a pan, uh, get a cutting board or a smooth uh, surface board and a big spoon to scrape off the inside. This part sometimes very easy to tear. Even with uh, light scrapes, they'll tear. So you have to uh, be very careful uh, we now have freezers, <laughs> so after you scrape it off, before you put it in water, you can put, freeze it in your freezer, it'll keep. I have some in my freezer right now that I didn't have time to uh, uh, put in water to uh, rinse out the uh, blood. Do you need to turn the uh, intestine inside out? Uh, in our area, no. But uh, Elaine from uh, St. Lawrence Island last month, they said they do take inside out to scrape it off. So that that's why I said there's a different way of uh, doing things from uh, area to area. So you just scrape the outer layer? Outside, Outside yeah. Outside off. Uh, your intent is to clear the inside from the outside. Push it. Push it toward the hole. But you have to have water in there 
to uh, have it slide more easily. When you're cleaning them, are you like on a board, something smooth, a board yeah. or mm -hmm. something? Yeah. And I would have a, a smooth, either a cutting board. I'd have it going this way, standing up this way. And I'd have a, a spoon that's not sharp to scrape it off with. Are you using the back side of the spoon, the smooth part, or the, no. uh, the scraper the, uh, part? Uh, the, you know, the spoons are like the, the edge of it? Uh, the edge. How many times do you think you scrape? Y you the, scrape, you know, the intestine. you scrape that, you know, this much. Just and it uh, and you you can see through. If you still have little scraps of in there, uh, some uh, linings they come up they come off easy when they scrape it. Sometimes there are uh, pieces that are yeah, not these, these mm -hmm, that's that are that just won't. Uh, slide out or come out if they're stuck to that, that little piece of uh, uh, membrane or uh, kind of a, some sort of a strand. If, if you try to pull that off after scraping, you have to be very careful, otherwise if you just go over there and go you're going to tear, you're going to tear that, screw that, connective tissue. Yeah. The, the seal gut you're going to be using, uh, I did it myself. Uh, in plain water, when all that blood is, was soaked away, I put it in salt water, rinse it again, so it's not going to be so brittle. It, it'll be salty to the taste, but it's good. It's good. No, uh, if you've heard of uh, seal guts being put into human urine, I don't, I, I didn't do that. <laughs> I could do it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> so so it should be pretty good. When you're rinsing up the intestines, does it take a couple of days? It takes more than a couple of days. It takes a, a good part of uh, one week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you're letting it sit, is it sitting in water? Yes. You could it in the water. And uh, even with, you don't have to stir it. Sometimes uh, I go over there and of course, I am a very forgetful person. <laughs> I forget. Maybe a couple of days I'll forget. And then uh, when I finally remember, um, it'll s smell a little bit. But that's okay for me. I, I can uh, rinse it. And the smell doesn't go away totally. But still, it's still usable. And after that, I... Uh, um, put it in salt water. Something you have to look out for, because if you keep it too long uh, in uh, in water, it'll s start feeling uh, kind of spongy. <coughs> and then when you look closely, you might see something like bubbles in that, in here, and uh, doesn't, doesn't feel like and look like it might be too uh, like this, might be a uh, leaky or not keep the air when you put air in it. Right now, we're going to be uh, preparing to uh, uh, blow some air to the uh, intestines, bearded seal intestines, and uh, each participant 
will be getting a portion not too long and uh, they're going to uh, practice on it. Now, if you were to uh, were blowing a, a full size a full sized uh, gut, you know, you'd have to you'd have to have another person holding. Uh, go like this and because you do it <laughs> if you're if you're doing it all by yourself and you're holding this part and if you're holding this one you have to be holding this one like this and uh, you'd have a tough time because this would keep s sliding out mm -hmm. so while you're holding this and then because in order sometimes you don't uh, uh, see holes oh, yeah. while you're scraping it, yeah. So go like this, tight, hold it very tightly over here while you're blowing over here. And then after you blow this, and you, f you feel that it's not, air is, an, air is not escaping. Next one. Next one, do it again. Mm -hmm. But before you start, you need to tie strongly mm -hmm. one end of your... So first, tie one end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can all grab one. <laughs> Don't give it just one knot. Dumb. Just give it two. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. two knots. So this has already been turned back to the first one, right? You you flipped it and defleshed it, and then you uh, turned it back. We have different way of doing things. Okay. Okay. That's what because they have to. From what I gather, they have to insert seat loans, and they have to uh, work with, a lot with the uh, walrus intestines, and mm -hmm. walrus intestines are very. Different very, can be difficult to clean. Mm -hmm. They're kind of hard to clean mm -hmm. and longer mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I tried it once and uh, the outer layer and inside seemed to stick pretty good. Good, not Pretty there. good. Yeah. Nah, it, it was hard to scrape it off, so this bearded seal Sometimes it can be hard, mm -hmm. uh, but it's much, much easier than the... Uh, than the walrus. Yeah, the walrus, so. Okay. so are you all ready? I think so. You can grab one string to tie it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you need one string. I usually use a turkey baster. You just blow it with your mouth? Yeah? Turkey you baster. Okay. Is that I'm how not, you do it? Yeah. 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 Okay, ladies. Yes. <laughs> I never done it with my mouth before. I only ever used a, one of those. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Good job, Eve. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. See? I didn't actually put my mouth on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. You need to. Is he? You. Uh -huh. You need to blow more air more? into it. Is he good? A little bit more. more. Yeah. You need to put it Pretty good, Mary? Uh, firm. Firm, mm -hmm. so, because you need to, you also have to remember to uh, tight, uh, so it, it'll stretch. Your ear will stretch it. Yay. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're ready to divide. Yay. And another one? I can't. You got a hang of it? Oh, yeah, no, I keep going. I know. Yeah. I think you have 
And this is how you look for uh, holes. Mm -hmm. You can feel the air coming out. Yeah, got a hole right there at the end. Yeah, there's a hole. Maybe you don't have this type. You want to try again? Before you start blowing air to your intestines, you have to have a tight knot at the end. Otherwise, you're going to have a escaping. And this, and this is the uh, proper way to do it. This is how you do it slowly. Mm. I didn't have to open my lips. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to open my lips. There you are. You have it. The next step is now to dry. Uh, it might take like overnight if you have enough air in there, or maybe a day and a half or two days since we're not outside. We had to cut it in portions so each student could uh, have one. Yeah. You you stretch some. You you have a you have poles. So I'm just gonna. I know it's the hog intestine and not the intestine, but I was wondering if you could just show everybody where you would cut once it's dry and okay. what side because it's curved. Okay. This. This is uh, yes the outside. This is where all that uh, all those. Uh, 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 senior looking uh, grabbers are holding everything together like this in this part right here and you cut them up very gingerly trying not to cut this part and this is where you cut it out make sure you have, you're right in the middle Oh, you cut it out. And uh, when I do this, I try not to um, slide my uh, scissors fast because it can run in the wrong direction and tear. Do you cut it on the outer edge because there's sinew or stuff that holds it together on, no. on the bottom better? Or? Well, uh, if I open this, this is extra freely. <laughs> uh, and this one too. This this part. You see how it's uh, more uh, tighter, mm -hmm. whereas this is uh, kind of okay. like this. And if I cut this out on that part, and so. So uh, together, 
it would uh, they did call it kanjiluni, like a, like a looks like a bowl or a wooden bowl something. Kanjiluni kudoba. It wouldn't like stretch out flat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good point. I've learned a lot how to make sausages too. I'm supposed to be. Okay, yeah. Very different. Go on to loom. Like a bowl. Whereas this is, this spreads out more.